Friday, July 12th, live on location to Dog Pound, no representatives. What are we up to? Well, Grizz is still up on the rack. We're away f a week away from uh, the Griswold summer vacation gambler run here in northern Arizona. We just got done putting him in a new tranny, got stuff set up for floor shift, uh, heat temp, or tranny temp sensor, and a drain plug. We've got a skid plate that will run from all the way across back to here. I've got another one that I may get on the front. Uh, let's see here. I've got to put that starter back in it. Um, inspection cover and basically this is one side of the old exhaust right here. And actually just like it's, it's sitting. That was the that was the passenger side, what I had on there. Um, to see about getting it to flow a little better, I chopped up an old, uh, another, the same way I built that one. Uh, took a white pipe. Hey, Sapphire, represent. Come here, baby. Oh, that's so far, so far, the girl. Okay, come on. Go. So anyway, we cut up an old white pipe. That'll give us our drops. We're going to plumb it back down through here. Tuck it, run it right along here, back out and kip it, kick it down just like that was made. Except for being a slightly bigger tube, that set of glass packs is going in there so we can knock the drone down. Sapphire, what do you got? I hope it don't kill you whatever it is you're eating. I don't remember dropping any food in here. Anyway, one of the things I had to do to use the bigger pipe is actually open up the flanges. Did it a little bit with the yun bit. A little bit old school to tune it up, file, you know, put it in a hole, rubby, rub, rub. So we got those opened up where we like them, so we can now go ahead and put the drops on. Then we'll start cutting up old pipe and uh, fit her together. You know, just because it's a little bit older don't mean it can't be worked. The only thing that sucks about uh, pipe after it's been run is it gets really hard to rebend. So do it like an, an exhaust kit from the big store. You got bends, cut them out, make them fit. And I mean, <laughs> this one here was a crossover pipe and uh, the mid pipe out of a mid 80s Chevy. But, you know, if you keep a little bit old exhaust around, you always got bends that you can work with. Um, stuff like that for doing stuff, tight stuff. We can cut that around the perimeter, make it work. Uh, so. Yeah, shop's a mess. Was busy cleaning up the front yard, playing with the county guy. We like the county guy. They're so nice. Anyway, Grizz is getting close. I'm going to get him banged out. Uh, the short bus may be around this weekend for a little bit of skid plating. Um, Pre-camping here next week and hopefully building a Lexus that was kindly donated to us. I will reveal at a later date who reveal or donated it it'll be on the car also something else i wouldn't mind changing out is this this sway bar i'd like to keep a sway bar on it because i do highway to car but it'd be nice if i could figure out a way to make a little room on that maybe down the line not real worried about it so otherwise grizz is coming back together sapphire's representing shop's a mess um front yard's looking nice oh one other grizz update um I'm going to probably end up welding a set of floor pans into a friend of mine, thanks to Ranchero, in exchange for a small block that is actually way more fresh and for sure 12 bolts. I believe he said 68 or 69. Uh, 350 came from an El Camino. El Camino. But uh, it looks pretty good from what I can see of it. We're going to plastic gauge it, maybe pull a piston out, check taper, and... Uh, possibly send it to the machine guy to just have it touched up a little bit and cleaned up then we'll find a set of heads and it will probably be griswold's next motor because while this old motor that's in here is, runs good it's only about 100 psi per cylinder and honestly it's probably loose and it'll probably make a really really good demolition derby car or not the car the car would too but no we'll use the motor out of here for the demolition derby ride and actually if i have uh nah we'll we're, we're going to get a good carburetor on the Cadillac, and uh, we'll be running the white Cadillac again in Flagstaff, and then the uh, half-ton 
cab and a half. So, hi right, folks. A whopping. How long did I talk? Five minutes. Anyway, we're going to get back on this. I just thought I'd do a little quick update. Like I said, uh, Griswold Summer Vacation, 19th, 20th, 21st here in Chino Valley, Arizona. Contact me. Check the Facebook. Uh, questions. Ask away. All right. Later.